Hi everyone, good to see you this week. It's the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time. What do you remember from the Gospel reading last week? You know, we heard that Jesus was rejected in his own hometown of Nazareth. And because he was rejected, he could only perform a few very small healings. He couldn't perform any of the big miracles that he had been performing in other places. In today's gospel, we, Jesus sends his apostles to preach and warns them that they might also be rejected. Before I read you the gospel, do you know what the word apostle means? It's a person who is sent. So an apostle is a person who is sent. Then that's why Jesus calls them his apostles. They are being sent out to share Jesus's message with others. So let's listen for the instructions that Jesus gives his apostles before he sends them out. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus called together his 12 apostles and sent them out two by two with power over evil spirits. He told them, you may take along a walking stick, but don't carry food or a traveling bag or any money. It's all right to wear sandals, but don't take along a change of clothes. When you are welcome into a home, stay there until you leave that town. If a place won't welcome you or listen to your message, leave and shake the dust from your feet as a warning to them. Then the apostles left and started telling everyone to turn to God. They forced out many demons and healed a lot of sick people by putting oil on them. The Gospel of the Lord. And we all say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So what instructions did Jesus give his apostles in the gospel today? He said a few things. He said for them to go in pairs, don't take extra things, stay in one place until they go to another town, those types of things. Why do you think that Jesus gave these instructions to them? You know, Jesus wanted them to be free of a lot of possessions so that they were then free to be able to do God's will and, and the work that God needed. Did Jesus send them out alone? No, he didn't. He sent them in pairs because we can accomplish so much more with the help of others than we can alone. We are all called to share or preach the good news of Jesus. There are people that we call missionaries who travel the world to share Jesus's message. These people are like the first apostles and that they are sent in a special way to preach the good news of Jesus. And you know, we should remember to pray for them as they do God's will. And we should be like them as well, ready and willing to share Jesus's message of love with others. So with that in mind, let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer for the church. May she faithfully proclaim the good news and draw people into a deeper communion with Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for peace in our world. May nations at war set aside all hatred and a desire for revenge and work towards peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood and for minis minis missionaries, for the grace to be fearless and following Christ's call to take nothing extra with us and to leave everything and to follow him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all who are sick or suffering, that the Lord will bless them in their time of need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's finish today with the perfect prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a beautiful week, everyone. Bye.